tiny house, prepper. Live simple, live free. Hey everybody, I'm Bill with Tiny House Prepper, and this is my buddy Leo. And he, he doesn't want to be up here right now. <laughs> so today I'm going to be making clam chowder. Now, there was a time two years ago or so where Elizabeth was gone for the weekend for something, I don't know, a woman's retreat or something. So I was left to my own devices, and I decided I wanted clam chowder. I didn't know anything about how to make clam chowder. <laughs> So I just went to YouTube and put in clam chowder and a whole bunch of them came up. The first one that I clicked on, it was really funny. The guy made some amazing clam chowder. But the guy had long hair. He was completely covered in tattoos and um, <clears throat> body piercings all over the place. He had a foul mouth and he was in the kitchen making clam chowder. I love things that don't fit. Things that are totally anachronistic. I just you wouldn't imagine from seeing this guy in the street that he makes clam chowder but he made really good clam chowder so I learned how to do it from him I don't know who he was but anyway now he used all fresh ingredients I'm going to be using some Thrive ingredients but you will see that this is a very easy recipe it doesn't take many ingredients and it actually doesn't take many Thrive ingredients hey cat he's pushing my tripod he just, over push the tripod <laughs> It doesn't take, in fact, it takes two Thrive ingredients. It takes potatoes and celery. But it saves a lot of time because you don't have to clean and chop all of those potatoes. So let me, let me get started and show you how this works. Now Thrive has two different kinds of potatoes. This is called the potato chunks. And I don't know if you can read that, but they have potato chunks and they have potato dices. They're both about the same size. I've already put them in a measuring cup here but they're both about the same size just a little small little thing there we go the difference being the potato chunks the ones that I'm using right now are dehydrated rather than freeze-dried it's a different process and Thrive only has a couple things that are dehydrated and this is one of them now which which is better that's a personal choice a personal preference you try them both and decide which you like we use both of them and we use them for different things. We like to throw the potato dices into soups and things like that. Um, and, well, actually, this is a soup and I'm using potato chunks, so I guess I actually prefer chunks. The potato dices are, are very light. They feel kind of like uh, marshmallows before you rehydrate them. After you rehydrate them, they're great, the, the potatoes, but I think that the chunks, after you rehydrate them, are a little bit um, heartier. And they stand up a little bit more like if you want to fry them or something like that. The potato dices will kind of mash up a little bit more. Whereas the potato, potato chunks, the ones I'm going to use, um, hold their, their shape a little bit better. So now another difference is that the potato dices, the freeze dried ones, rehydrate in just a couple of minutes. These take a long time. This is hard as a rock. And it takes, you got you to bring it to a boil and then simmer it for about... 15 or 20 minutes to get these fully rehydrated. Just like real potatoes. Just like real potatoes. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> um, so, let me show you how I'm going to do this uh, clam chowder. So I'm going to start <clears throat> with two cups of the uh, potato chunks. Now the potato dices don't um, swell much when they refresh. The potato chunks swell a lot like almost twice the size. So we're going to end up with a lot more there than what it looks like. Now to refresh it, I'm not going to use water. I'm going to use clam juice. And when I was watching the guy, he put in, he chopped up fresh potatoes and put it in there and he boiled the potatoes to cook them in clam juice rather than in water. So I'm going to use Two bottles of clam juice. Okay. And then I was very surprised he uses light cream. And I was very surprised that he poured the light cream in there with the clam juice and brought it to a boil. I thought, well, isn't the light cream going to curdle? But it didn't. It doesn't. I guess maybe because it's so um, 
diluted by the clam juice. So I'm going to use about half of that. Okay, so I'm going to put some heat on it. I'm going to bring it to a boil and then take it down to a simmer and let it simmer for about 15 minutes or 20 minutes until the potato dices or the potato chunks, sorry, are um, tender. So this has just got light cream and two bottles of clam juice in it. Okay, so now it's starting to boil, so I've turned it down to low so it'll simmer. And notice that the potatoes, you can now see them. Before, they were completely covered with the liquid. Some of the liquid, of course, has boiled off a little bit, but the main thing is that the potatoes have completely uh, swelled, probably almost twice the size that they were. So since I don't have another bottle of clam juice, I'm going to have to pour a little bit of water in here because the potatoes keep absorbing liquid. So we'll just let that continue to simmer until the potatoes are tender. Now you may notice that we're not home. We're out on a trip right now. We are in our, our RV, what we call our cottage. And so I had to bring everything that I needed along with me before we left home. I forgot two things. One is I should have had three bottles of clam juice. And I only had two, which is unfortunate because it won't have as much clam flavor. The other is I forgot garlic. <laughs> you got to have garlic in here. How much garlic? Well, it's just garlic to taste. That's the way I cook. A little of this, a little of that. You got to have garlic. I didn't bring any. So we're going to have a little bit flat in flavor compared to what it can be but you know here we are in the beautiful woods in our cottage our camper you do what you can right <laughs> it's gonna be delicious it's gonna be delicious yes so the potatoes have been simmering for a while one of the biggest problems that people make when they're trying or uh, when they're trying to use the thrive potato chunks is that they don't let them cook long enough and they they're chewy you gotta make sure that you cook them until they're actually soft like real potatoes and these are getting close so I'm going to add the clams now you can do whatever you want here as far as the type and the amount of clams but I generally use two, cl two cans of whole clams Leave the juice in because that ex adds extra flavor. And then I use one can of chopped clams. So we'll put that th in there and add that clam juice. Mix it in and let it continue to simmer a little bit more until the potatoes are done. We're also going to use some Thrive Celery. It's already cleaned and chopped for you. Just add some in there to taste. You just add it dry right there and it'll just refresh in the soup itself. Alright. Let, let it simmer together for a little while. Okay, so it's been simmering for a while, and the potatoes are tender, and like I said, it should have garlic in it, and I forgot to bring the garlic, so it's going to be lacking because it doesn't have garlic. But now I'm ready for the secret ingredient in clam chowder, and I didn't know, that, know this, and it's pepper. Lots of pepper. I don't actually have a measurement for you, a tablespoon or two tablespoons, that's not enough. I don't know, because it's you pepper to taste.
but it takes a lot more pepper than I would have thought. Gonna add a little more yet. So you see I've done that twice. What's that, a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half? I think we're good to go. This is going to be good. Since we're in the camper, we're going with the fancy plasticware. <laughs> For me. This looks wonderful. You know, I've made clam chowder for years, but when he tried to make it, um, you know, without me that time and came across this recipe, I'm very impressed. I really like this clam chowder. Yep. It's a little lacking because of the garlic, but that's okay. I just put in extra pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's really got a good flavor. Yep. And it's still real clammy. Mm -hmm. I mean, that sounds... You know, clam flavored, not clam, you know, clam, you know, clammy. Yeah, it's very good. So, you know, there are many meals that you can make <clears throat> using 100% Thrive ingredients. This is a meal that we use only two ingredients, the potatoes and the, and the celery. And the only other thing was the light cream, the clams, and the clam juice. And hopefully garlic and pepper. Pepper. But the, uh, using the... Thrive Life freeze-dried ingredients, even just partially, save so much time because I didn't have to cut up all those potatoes and the celery. Mm. It just You just throw it all in a pot and you're done. So fast and easy. And it's good. It's really good. It's really good. So. He has found his inner chef. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I was a cookster. <laughs> Until late in life. Um, so if you want to check out Thrive Life freeze-dried food, there's a description or there's a link in the description below. You can go to the website, look at all the great stuff they got. They have a whole grocery store full of freeze dried food. This is good, honey. Thank yep. you. Thank you. <laughs> so let's go, let's finish this and then let's go for a walk. Oh, it looks beautiful. It yeah. Sounds great. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Be, live, oh, goodness. <laughs> Look, live simple. Live free. <laughs> Be blessed. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye-bye, guys. We love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Catherine Green says, I received my first order this week and we love everything. The value is phenomenal when you think about how much strawberries, bell peppers, mushrooms can cost. And the orange drink is yummy. Don't hesitate to buy and try a few items. And Cheryl Kunzelman says, Bill Keller, the pineapple is stellar. Yup, Cheryl, thank you, and we agree. Pam Holcomb says, thank you again for sharing. I just got my first order in of Thrive. The peas are amazing. Also the strawberries, apricots, wow. Can't wait to try more of the products. You guys are, as I've said before, a blessing. Thank you, Pam.